What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to IQ. What's up, everybody? I'm LM. Welcome back to Indoor Quadcopters. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the legendary Hubson X4 H107L. Uh, I believe the L means that they've included the LEDs, the lights, the original version, the H107 did not have lights. I think they also added these uh, rubber feet. Let's see right here. So these rubber feet they added. Your first time shopping for a quad, you always come across this quad in your search of what should you buy. This is probably the quadcopter that comes up most often and is also the most reviewed. If you go on the forums, you'll find whole sections dedicated to this one quadcopter. And for a micro quadcopter, that's a pretty impressive feat. Bought it over at Micro Center. Uh, it was like 35 bucks. Seemed like a pretty good price. I've seen, you know, buying in flies for $33. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Mine did not come with a prop guard. I bought this uh, aftermarket online. It does come with an extra set of props. It comes with a prop removal tool, which can come in handy comes with a 230 milliamp battery single cell lipo you can upgrade it to a 380 ma lipo it's similar to the one that comes with a few of the other hubson x4s a lot of times you'll see a 500 ma lipo being advertised for it and uh, honestly on mine i noticed i take a big hit in performance when i try to fly with this so personally i don't recommend the 500 ma but then again I'm just learning to fly and maybe I just haven't really mastered how to you know compensate for the extra weight but if you're looking at this from a I'm thinking about this for my first quad then uh, forego the uh, the 500 milliamp battery and just maybe bump up to the 380 it's still pretty manageable on 380 another thing I want to talk about is the flip system on this thing it's kind of weird you have to go into uh, expert mode by pressing down on your pitch and roll stick it goes into expert mode it says expert here on the lcd screen and then you have to kind of go one way and then the other way kind of quick so if you want to flip you got to go like that if you want to you know if you want to flip this way you got to do like that it's pretty cumbersome and as a beginner i i don't like it at all so and because of the amount of clearance that i fly in which if you watched any of my earlier videos it's about six and a half feet there's really not enough clearance to pull those stunts off i'm not good enough to do it yet in such a low space i'm sure guys like quadcopter 101 frequent flyer and flying ryan i'm sure those guys can pull it off <laughs> in a 12 by 12 box but, but i'm just starting so i can't anyway and that's what it comes with it also comes with the instruction manual and it's you know has an exploded view breaks down all the parts so you get to learn some language and stuff talks about how you can set up the transmitter it has actually a settings mode that you can go in there and, and make adjustments very cool Really, really want to talk about how it flies. If you want to check out the settings menu, how to calibrate and things like that, I really recommend checking out Flying Ryan's video. And also Frequent Flyer has a bunch of video on the uh, Hubson X4 H107L. I recommend you guys check them out. If you're not subscribed to them, you should. We're going to check it out, fly it, see how it fares for beginner pilots like myself. And in my space, I'm dealing with low headroom. So we'll check out how it does. Let's go fly. Welcome back everyone. All right, so uh, getting right into it, the Hubson X4. It's a pretty stable flyer. Bounces off walls and obstacles pretty well. Has a nice hover, decent rates. Your rates are decent. There are a few things about this quad that I'm not really too fond of. First and foremost being the flip system. I just feel from a beginner standpoint, it's too cumbersome and very unintuitive. And you usually end up like that. I lost three props on that. Another big downfall for me on the Hubson is the fact that while it's a stable flyer and it hovers well and when you take off it'll hover in place for a while. Once you start moving that pitch stick and the roll stick it just starts to drift. It drifts in whatever position you move the stick in last and then you have to compensate by pulling back in the opposite direction. This is really, again, cumbersome, especially for someone just learning to fly. No matter how much you trim, it drifts. Kind of annoying. 
I get the feeling that this quad may be suited better for some outdoor flying. I also feel like as a first flyer, maybe not the best choice. There's so many great micro quads out there right now that the Hubsen X4 H107L is a bit dated and doesn't really hold up to what some of the other flyers can do, some of the inverted flyers, more sporty, acrobatic, micro-sized quads. That being said, the Hubsen X4 isn't without its merits. Parts are readily available. If you have a local hobby shop, chances are you'll find parts for the Hubsen X4 there. So repairing it in a pinch shouldn't be an issue. The build quality is solid also on this quad. Has these pretty neat breakaway arms and what they do is that if you have a really bad crash they kind of snap apart and you have to snap them back together so it's always a good idea that once you do lay it down <laughs> take a look at the arms make sure they haven't separated and you just press them back together and they snap right back into place so in conclusion really only because of the stiff competition this particular quad has today this is not an indoor quadcopters must buy there's just too many great quads out there today for even less than what this one costs is it worth the 35 bucks sure if you're going to use it to just cruise around learn some basics of flying you want something solid that you'll be able to go and buy parts for pretty quickly whether it's on amazon or your local hobby shop this is a smart purchase and if this was the first quad I ever purchased, I'd probably be pretty happy with the performance. But it wasn't, so I'm not. <laughs> that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for coming by and checking out the channel. Please hit subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And in case you're looking for a good price on the RTF, I will leave a link below in the description. And that's it. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm LM, this is IQ Indoor Quadcopters, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again. Peace.